Divinity in its essence is given for, and it is created from the Word of God. You see, divinity, the Shekinah, actually ends up showing us a way to have a personal relationship with our Creator. Each of the prophets and the great kings consulted with the Lord. The interesting thing about Samuel, you know the way that they say it in Hebrew, Shmuel? Shmuel is to have the name of God, but it was that anointed. You see, he picked who was to be king. He showed David, and David, Davide, was actually the beloved, my beloved. And Solomon ends up, when he uses the Davide, in the Song of Songs, shows a ownership with the Yod. It is to say, not just beloved, but it is my beloved. And what he's actually showing there is the relationship that we have with our Creator. You see, the relationship that Solomon was able to learn from his father is the same relationship that David learned from Samuel. David was able to go directly to the Lord. You see, he knew emanation. He knew how to go into that highest level of creation. They call it the world of absolute. It's given forth for nobility, for us to receive that divine crown, and for us to have the ability to give that crown, or to take it away. But that is the essence of the kings. You see, they had that personal relationship with Christ. Now, the gift that I give to you is the very same gift. Because as Christians, we hold the keys to the kingdom. We have the word of God. We have an understanding of how to speak forth the word. The parable of the sower is very simple. When we take the word of God, it's a seed. What happens when you plant a seed? You bear forth a harvest. You end up having produce. It's a value. It gives you nutrition. It feeds the soul. It feeds the body, the body of Christ. It's the soul of the living God, interconnected. The Lord our God is one, a king forever. Love the Lord your God with all your heart, your mind, your soul, and your strength. The essence of the Shema. Shema Israel. Let me break it down for you. Shema Israel. Listen, O Israel. He who was, he who is, he who is to come. The Lord our God. He is one, a king forever. And you love the Lord your God. Love from the heart itself. The soul and the strength are given forth as commandments for the way that we feel towards our Creator. It is that essence of our Creator that builds forth divinity. And as we speak forth the Word of God, it therefore then edifies us, it strengthens us, and allows for us to go before our Creator beloved before God, that we are, in essence, receptive to that salvation and the Word of God. Christ Jesus gives us that love, and we look towards that, receiving His immortal blessing and the eternal lessons of the divinity that is given forth as we enter into that creation, using the Word of God to form these miracles. He allows for us to receive enlightenment and the personification of Christ Jesus in each and every Christian that we share the gospel. And that's why it's important. I want to share this message with you. I want you to receive that. And I want you to understand that Christ is there with you, giving you that instruction, that God loves you. And we have to look no further than the word of God to receive that eternal blessing. And if you've never done it before, I want to give you an opportunity right now. It's simple, it's really so simple. Jesus is Lord. And I want you to call on the name of Christ, and receive that blessing. God bless, God bless America. And if you've never said it, say it with me now. Jesus is Lord. God bless. God bless America. And I'll see you.